Today I have for you Motive's full case lineup for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra minus their waterproof case which I did a separate review on because I wanted to test out how waterproof the case actually is and whether or not it does a good job at keeping water out of the case. Now all these cases do come with belt clips and they also come in two different options. You can either get them with a front and rear camera protector or without. I will also be showing you what the cases look like on the phone without the protectors and with the protectors just in case you want to know how much of a lip you get on the phone. And if you guys want to pick any of these up I will be putting product links in the video description. All of the cases here do have military grade drop testing up to about 10 feet and there's actually one here that's been drop tested up to 15 feet. Can you guess which one of those cases that is before we begin? Let me know in the comments below. So one really cool thing that Motive does with every single one of their belt clip holders is the fact that it can be turned into a kickstand whether or not the case itself actually has a built-in kickstand. And I'll show you what I mean. So the little clip on the back, if you simply press down on it, it'll expose this little metal piece here, which all you need to do is simply pull it up towards the clip and it holds the clip in place. Then you just kind of rotate it like this and now you have a kickstand. Put your phone in just like this with the screen facing outward and you can watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever have you. So whether or not the case itself has a kickstand, you will always have a kickstand with these belt clip holders. And then to put it back down, just simply press down on the clip, push down on the little wire and you're back to normal. So here we have the Ranger Series V2 case. Again, you can get this with or without the tempered glass screen protector and rear camera protector. It's got a built-in kickstand on the back here. It also has MagSafe built-in. It also comes with this really nice belt clip that does rotate 360 degrees. It's not super hard to press in, but it does have a good little clip on it. Now, if you wanna get your case out, all you need to do is simply slide the case up from the bottom and then pull it out of the belt clip. So here we get two tempered glass screen protectors, two clear rear camera protectors, and some installation packets. So the case does have this really cool honeycomb pattern on the inside. It's just plastic. It is surrounded by a hard rubber material. It also does have a nice firm hard back to protect your phone. And again, we have that kickstand. Another really cool thing about this belt clip holder is the fact that it has a hidden compartment where you can put an ID or a credit card. Just simply take the card, slide it into the case just like this. And the card is in the case. It's not going to come out. It's in there really well, but you can still get it out if you really need. And you just take your phone, slide it over your card, and you're all set. It's pretty cool. So we'll put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really nicely, feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth rubber feel on the sides. Buttons are nice and clicky very easily pressable, which I love. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a pretty prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. There is no tempered glass screen protector on this phone as well right now. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone, which is definitely nice. We've got our cutouts on the bottom. You can easily access your S Pen. We've got our power and volume buttons on the other side as well. Now this case does have dual layer military grade drop protection of at least 10 feet and it adds 360 degree protection when you add that front tempered glass screen protector and the rear camera protector. This case also has air pocket technology to help absorb shocks from drops. It's got that built in kickstand and it's also got MagSafe built in as well. It's got a really cool texture on the back, feels nice and smooth. If we look at our cameras, you can see that they do have a nice raised edge to help protect your lenses. And then we have the kickstand on the back. It is made of all plastic, but it feels uh, pretty solid. It doesn't just flop around either. So if you wanna watch some videos or something in a landscape mode, you can do that. But the phone will not stand up in a portrait. So you're only gonna be able to use it in landscape. 
and then it stows back right back into the case with a little clip. And as you can see, it is flush with the case. Very cool. Feels good in the hand. And again, if you want to put it in the belt clip, you just slide the case down like that and it clips into place. So you don't have to worry about the, the phone and the case just falling out of the belt clip. It's in there pretty good. And now your screen is also protected. And if you want, you can also put the phone with the screen facing out as well. And as I mentioned before, this also has MagSafe built in. So you can take your MagSafe power puck, clip it onto the back, and it'll immediately start to charge your phone. It's got a pretty strong hold on there as well. And the other really nice thing about this case is the back is totally flush. So if you want to use a MagSafe power bank like I have here, you can use it without any issues and it clears the camera edge because there's no raised lip. It's also got a pretty good strong hold on the back as well. So you don't have to wor worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. And here's what the case looks like with the tempered glass screen protector on it. As you can see, there's still a nice raised edge on the front of the phone, even with the tempered glass. And we have this rear camera protector that fits perfectly within, within inside this case. There's actually still a slight raised edge as well around your cameras. And then here we have the Crystal Series in their nice frosted back. Helps keep down the fingerprints. You can also get this with or without the rear camera and tempered glass. It also comes with this really nice belt clip. And the way that this case comes out is you simply lift up on this little piece here and pull out the case with your phone instead of sliding it in like we did with some of the other belt clips. Again, we get two tempered glass screen protectors, two installation packets, and two rear camera protectors. The belt clip also has this really nice kind of suede material on the inside to help keep your phone screen from getting all scratched up. It also has a nice smooth rubbery type silicone feel to it. The belt clip on this also rotates 360 degrees and has a nice little clip to it. This also has that little clip on the top, top to help keep your case in place. And then here we have the case itself. It's got a nice smooth rubber edge. It's got MagSafe built in. And again, it's got that nice frosted back as well as a metal camera ring to give you some extra protection for your camera lenses. Let's put our phone in the case. Feels good in the hand. It's not slippery, but it's got a smooth rubbery type feel to it. The buttons are nice and clicky, and they're also separate from the case. They look really nice. Now, if we look at the case from the side, you can see that it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom as well. There's also no tempered glass screen protector on the phone right now. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We've got our lanyard holes on the bottom here. We have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. On the other side, again, we have those really nice uh, power and volume buttons, which I absolutely love. They're separated. And on the back, again, it's got that nice matte look to it. Helps keep fingerprints down. And we also have the MagSafe built in, again, along with that metal camera ring to give our camera lenses some extra protection. Really nice case. I always love the matte back because again, it keeps the fingerprints down and it still shows off the color of your phone. This case has also been military grade drop tested up to at least 10 feet and it gives you 360 degree protection with that rear camera lens cover as well as the front tempered glass. It also has air pocket technology to help absorb shocks from drops and it's got the MagSafe built in. And if you're wondering, unlike some of the other belt clips, this case will only fit one way in this belt holder, and that's with the screen facing inward. And as you can see, the case is in there. It's not going to just fall out unless you really want to get the case out by lifting up this little piece here and pulling out the case. The little camera ring on the back is just a little too thick, so this won't fit in there <laughs> the other way.
as you can see there's still a slight gap so you're only going to be able to put the screen face in which isn't bad because it helps protect the screen and then like i mentioned we have the magsafe on the back so you can take your magsafe puck clip it onto the back and it'll immediately start to charge your phone Now one thing with this case, if you do happen to have a MagSafe power bank, something like this here, and you try to attach it on the back, the camera ring will kind of be in the way of the MagSafe power bank. It might still charge your phone, but it's not gonna be flush. So what you're gonna end up doing is kind of rotating it just a little bit so it clears that camera ring. It's not a huge deal, but it's just something to keep in mind. It's also got a pretty strong hold on the case as well, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. I'd say this is definitely one of my favorite Motive cases. And then here we have the case with the tempered glass on it. As you can see, there's still a gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility. And the rear camera protector also fits perfectly with inside this case to give you 360 degree protection. And if we look at it from the side, you can see that there's still a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, even with the tempered glass. And then here we have the Ranger Series V1 case. Again, this also comes with or without the tempered glass and rear camera protectors. It's also got this belt clip that it comes with, rotates 360 degrees. It's got a nice little strong clips on, clip on it. And if you want to get the case out, you just simply push it up from the bottom and pull out the case. This belt clip also has a nice kind of suede material in, inside to help keep your screen all protected. And it's got this pretty interesting pattern on the back side. The case itself is pretty light. It does have a built-in kickstand. This case does not have MagSafe built in, but it's been military grade drop tested up to at least 10 feet. And it's a pretty simple design. So we'll put our phone inside the case. Clips into place pretty easily, holds onto the phone. Feels pretty nice in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth rubber feel on the sides. We, we do have cutouts on the whole top and bottom of the case. And as you can see, there is no raised edge on the top and the bottom, but a slight raised edge on each one of the sides. And there's also no tempered glass screen protector on the phone yet. As you can see, it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. On the bottom, you can easily access everything you need to because there is this big cutout, so you can easily access your S Pen, all your ports. On the other side, there's a cutout for your power button and volume buttons. On the back, it's got this pretty cool texture. It is a hard backing, and we also have a raised edge to help protect your camera lenses as well. We also have that built-in kickstand on the back and the way that you get this out is by kind of lifting it up from these little sides here, but if you don't have any nails, it's gonna be a little difficult to get up. But it pops out just like this, so you can easily use your phone in a landscape or even a portrait mode in case you need to take some zoom calls. And then it folds right back down into place in the case. You can easily access the buttons on the side because of the cutouts, which is nice. You have the feel of the metal buttons of your phone. And in case you're wondering, you can use this case with wireless charging. And if you want to use the belt clip with this case, it pretty much only goes in one way as well, screen in, and you can easily do that just by sliding in the case just like that and it clips into place. And you don't have to worry about the case just falling out of the holder either because it's in there pretty good. And then if you want to get it out, you just simply push it up from the top. And here is the case with the tempered glass screen protector on it. As you can see, the case is pretty much now flush with the screen. And then here we have the Motive Bunker series. This case is their most protective case. It's been drop tested up to at least 50 times from 15 feet, and it gives you 360 degree protection. You can also get this with or without tempered glass screen protectors and rear camera protectors. So this case again clips in just like that. You can just pull out the case. 
It comes with two tempered glass screen protectors, two clear rear camera protectors, and some installation packets. This case has a quad layer construction and offers four levels of 360 degree protection. It's got air pocket technology to absorb shocks from drops, and it's also got MagSafe built in. If we look at the inside of the case, it has this cushiony material that looks really cool to help keep your phone protected, even if you do happen to drop it. Here is the belt clip. Again, it's got that nice soft suede-like material on the inside to help keep your screen from getting all scratched up. And it also has a rotating clip on the back, rotates 360 degrees, and it's got a pretty solid clip on there as well. Now to put our phone inside this case, you're going to first want to peel back the outer protector and pull out the inner plastic cover, just like this. So first you're going to take the outer cover, we're going to put it over our phone, just like this. Then you're going to take this whole piece, we're going to put it back inside the outer protector, just kind of press that into place. Go around the sides, make sure everything is clipped in place properly. So here's what the case looks like on the phone when you're all done. Feels really nice in the hand, it's got a, a good solid grip to it. It's got a nice rubbery material. Buttons on the side are very clicky, easily pressable. You can see how much is actually going to protect your phone. It's got those nice thick edges to help with drop protection. There also isn't a tempered glass screen protector on here just yet. If we look at it from the side, you can see those nice beefy raised edges on the top and the bottom of the phone. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk either. It's got some nice serrations on the side to help with grip. If we look at the bottom, you can see we have our covered charging port. We have a little cutout for your S Pen. So your charging port you can access right there. The S Pen is going to be a little bit more difficult because the cutout is not very big. And for me, it's not very easy to access my S Pen. So if you have bigger fingers, you might have some trouble uh, either getting the S Pen out or pushing it back in. On the other side, we have those same serrations with our power button and our volume buttons. If we look at the phone from the back, you can see that we have our MagSafe ring. It's got a little bit of a grippiness on the back as well, but it doesn't show fingerprints. And we have a really nice deep well to help protect our camera lenses too. And if you want to use this case with the belt clip, you're only going to be able to put it in with the face in. You're not going to be able to put it face out because it just doesn't fit. But it fits very easily with face in, press it into place, and you don't have to worry about your phone falling out of the case either. Fits really well. And then to get it out, you just lift up on this top piece and pull out your phone. Again, we have that MagSafe on the back that allows you to use your power puck just like that. It's got a pretty good hold on there as well. And if you have a MagSafe power bank, you can also use that too. It's on there pretty good. So if you're looking for the most protection for your phone, the Motive Bunker Series case is definitely the way to go. And here's what the case looks like with the tempered glass screen protector. As you can see, it doesn't actually touch the case. It fits perfectly with inside the outer rim. And there's still a very prominent raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And on the back, the rear camera protector fits perfectly inside this well, and there's still a nice raised edge to help protect those camera lenses as well. So now your phone is totally protected 360 degrees. And then here we have the Crystal Series case in their clear. Again, this case has been military grade drop tested up to at least 10 feet, and it also offers 360 degree protection with the added tempered glass screen protector and rear camera protectors. 
It also has air pocket technology to help absorb shocks from drops. It's got MagSafe built in and Motive also states this, this will never yellow thanks to the four diamond anti-oxidation coating, which can resist 100% yellowing caused by pretty much anything. It also comes with this belt clip, rotates 360 degrees and has a pretty nice little clip on it. And then the way to get the case out, you just lift up on the top piece here and pull out the case. The belt clip also has kind of like this micro suede material on the inside to help keep your screen free from scratches. You can also get this case with or without tempered glass screen protectors and rear camera protectors. You get two of each and installation packets. So we'll put our phone inside the case here. The case fits the phone really well. You don't have to worry about your phone falling out of this case. It's got a nice grippy feel to it. Buttons on the side are easily accessible and pressable. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge pretty much all the way around the case. And there's also no tempered glass screen protector on the phone yet. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. You can also see kind of like the reinforced corners for a drop protection. We have our cutouts on the bottom can very easily access your S Pen. We have our power button and volume buttons on the side. And on the back, it's got the nice clear back to show off the color of your phone. We have our MagSafe ring and we have a raised edge around our camera lenses as well. Looks pretty good, feels nice in the hand. And if you want to use this case with the belt clip, again, you're only going to be able to put it with the face in. You can't put the phone face out but the case is held in place really well and you don't have to worry about it just falling out. And then for the MagSafe on the ring, again, you can easily use your puck, just clip it into place and your phone will start to charge. Now, if you want to use a power bank like I have here with your MagSafe, you can still use it and it seems to not interfere the raised edge around the camera lenses either. So that's pretty nice. And it's got a pretty good hold on the back as well. Now I'll show you the installation for the tempered glass as well as the rear camera protectors. Now because the screen protector doesn't come with a guide, I would definitely recommend putting your case on your phone first before you install it so you can actually use it as a little installation guide. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to clean off your screen thoroughly with the alcohol wipe, then dry it off. Remove any dust that you might see. Take one of your tempered glass protectors. I'd also recommend putting on some guide stickers that look pretty much just like this to help you install the tempered glass. You're gonna peel off the underside protector just like this. And then hold on to those stickers to install your tempered glass. Once the glass is in place, just run your finger down the middle to adhere it to your phone. You can kind of use your finger to help smooth out any bubbles. Then just kind of wipe down the screen, get the edges to help Then wipe down the screen. Make sure you get along the edges to help it make. Then just wipe down the screen, making sure that there are no bubbles around the edges. And we're all set. So it looks pretty nice. As you can see, there is a gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility. We do have a cutout for our camera, so you don't have to worry about it interfering with Face ID or your selfies. As far as the touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. And the edges are also rounded off as well. Now if we look at the side, you can see that there's still a good raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, even with that tempered glass screen protector on it. As far as touch, everything working just fine. And as you can see, the screen is still crystal clear. Now there are two different tempered glass camera protectors that come with these cases. One is just clear and the other is in black. 
Now we'll install the rear camera protector. To do that, take the phone out of the case. Again, you're gonna to wanna to clean off your camera lenses really well and around the lenses too. Then dry everything off. Then take your lens protector, put it in the same orientation as the lenses on the back of your phone. We'll peel off the back plastic and then we'll just put our protectors over our camera lenses and press into place. And you're all set. So you can see it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the lenses either. And if you're gonna be using your rear camera, you can start, see that everything is pretty clear and there are no issues. As you can see, the rear camera protector fits perfectly inside the case. And it's pretty much flush now with the raised bump around the camera lenses. But your phone is now protected 360 degrees. So that was Motive's case lineup for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. Again, the waterproof case that they have is in a separate video, and I will be putting links to that video in the video description. Which one of these cases were your favorite? Again, I'm partial to the matte clear because I like to show off the color of my phone and not show any fingerprints and it's just got a really nice smooth feel to it. Which one was your favorite though? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you guys wanna pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.